Uh, this is the game. This is what we're doing. It's a uh, look at summer camp. Sexy Byakia in the corner. Some normal. You some, you can't uh, look nor- at that man with his glasses and tell me that you wouldn't bang him. I just feel like this is not the way we should be portraying 16-year-olds. Uh, most of them are adults. It's okay. <laughs> makes you wait? They're adult That's enough. Who? You know? It's, eh, eh. Welcome to Quiet Quizzers. Mm. We're going to play some Dong and Rampa today. Mm. Um, you don't get the cool little intro because that's like an hour long and I didn't want to show it with you guys. So, yeah. Devon, we're going to pick we're going to pick everyone's favorite character. And if she's not your favorite, then you're awful. It's Junko. <laughs> Are you as excited as I am, Bishop? Okay, so oh, for oh, yeah. for any of you that don't know, this is kind of like a big collage of just all the characters from Rampa 1 through 3, plus Despair Girls. So uh, if you don't want any spoilers, don't watch this. Um, I think there shouldn't be any major spoilers, except for, hey, Junko's the killer. Um, good, good old <laughs> Despair Girl. Despair Girls My is the... Favorite the worst out of all of them in the retrospect that it's very dark i mean one of the kids has the issue of just um well you know what i don't want to spoil for you you you, you go see all their issues all on your own yeah Uh, i'm so bored of despair let's make walking the beaten path of hope into the new big thing yeah into the new big that okay that's a weird sentence even for, from Junko. She's like the mastermind of everything. She's the one that uh makes everyone kill everyone. As you do. Yeah. That's why everyone loves her. Because she's psychotic and amazing. And the coolest. It's just a board game. We're going to hang out with our boy Fuyohiko over here. He's, uh, he's the ultimate Yakuza. Got a high jump card. I love that animation of her with the crown. So she's kind of got like a multiple personality disorder thing going on too. So you'll see some of that yeah, in her character. You. Yeah. It's normal things. Dude, let's just let's uh, risk it for the biscuit. See where this takes us. All right, could have been a lot better, but I'll take it. Our first battle, ultimate magic. Here we go, mono sludge. Oh no. Am I gonna lose to the mono sludge? Mono sludge! Yeah, you did one sludge. So, as you play through this, you can get go to shops to get uh, what you need, like equipment and stuff. I typically skip the first one because I don't feel like it's as necessary as, um, as they make it off. And then you go into these areas to fight bosses to give you scrolls to come fight these bosses and then you just repeat until you get all the way down to this boss and kill him and I've killed him before but I've never done it with time left so I don't know if you get anything when you finish it but I don't think so um, and the point of the game is to just play every character and the more you play the characters the more the story unfolds but the story is kind of not interesting at all it's all about the characters you ever wonder why they call them unicorns? Um, because they've got ice cream cones on their head. Yeah, I was wondering, it's because it's like... I get the uni, but like... They're not corn. It Maybe uh, maybe their horns look like corn to whoever like uh, came horse. up with them. Like, or maybe it was just unicorns a... Unicorns instead of unicorns. Maybe it originally came from a horse with a, um, a corn on the cob on his head. Oh no, I'm losing. Don't do that. That's like bad and stuff. Uh, so remember when I told you to skip the first shop? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't have any money! You have to, you have to win battles to get money. Seems like you just got smoked. I did just get smoked. It was pretty sad. Give me that golden rod. Damn it! 
Oh, Damn. Man, money now, though. Yeah, but I don't want I don't want to waste my days to go back to the shop. Good I just one. gotta get good, you know. See? Shit. Hit first. God damn it. This is good. I'm you're doing gonna, uh, really you're well have right to now. Be a little faster than that. If you look in the game. You only have 50 days to level up your character. And the way I'm going, it's uh, it's not not looking so good. Oh no! Mono sludge, stop! They're too good for me. It's kind of cool after you get um, 10 people to be on your team. Yeah, after you get 10 people, you finish 10 people's stories. Um, it gives you extra experience and money as you go through the board. So it makes going through the board easier. It's really cool. Uh, do you want to pick one of these women to voice? Can be pian the ultimate pianist on the left or the ultimate cosplayer on the right. Kaede is the pianist, and the one on the right, I forget her name, but it'll show up. I, you know, I don't really want to be anyone. <laughs> is that an option? You know what? Fine, Bishop. I'll do all the voice acting today. Listen, I just, you know... I'll, I'll find some cool dude for you to do at some point. Hey, I, give me some rad guy. I genuinely have no words for this. <laughs> And what you see, and that, you see, is exactly the reaction I was hoping for. You've peered into the abyss. Totally. The mystery. What swimsuit will the legendary supermodel wear? Sexy, cutting edge, modest? <laughs> the solution? A betrayal of every expectation. A most despair-inducing school-issued swimsuit. How do you feel? Shocked? Betrayed? Disgusted? Don't say anything. I can see it on your face. Actually... Surprised, yes. You're targeting a very specific niche there. Hifumi's reaction should be fu- Oh my god. <laughs> Hifumi is the, the fat um, fanfiction ultimate. I see, I see. Yeah, the one that's really weird and, and kind of creepy. Let's place bets on if he gets a nosebleed or passes out entirely. The more I look at it though, the more right it feels. Did you hit your head, Kaede? Because... I mean, Juko can pull off anything sexy, stylish, whatever. It all works on her. It's so easy to envision her in any kind of swimsuit that nothing would come as a surprise. Totally! I know, right? And you got that so fast, I'm thinking this wasn't surprising enough either. Um... If I'm going to be completely honest with you, swimsuits don't need to be surprising or jockey. You're going to have to wear that for the next month and a half. Are you really okay with that? Aww. See, that's the problem. They're, oh, they're also all in a video game right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I guess I should have said that. They, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. they start off and they're like, Hey, let's go on this vacation in virtual reality. And now they're in virtual reality. and It's video game time. I got your reactions and they were great. And now I'm getting bored. Talk about fickle. Um, but there's no no changing after you make your choice. Right. So we'll just have to forget how it looks and remind and remember that she can still swim in it fine. Yeah. Good idea. And since we're already dressed for it, how about we go to the beach? Go to the beach, beach. Nah, I'll pass. Huh? Uh, why? Hmm. School swimsuits are for swimming at the pool. I'd be desp despairingly out of place at the beach. Totally. So I'll mess around here for a bit and maybe tomorrow I'll get tired of it and hit the beach. I see. Well, if you change your mind, we'll be there. Like you know, there are times when I find you completely incomprehensible, Junko. <laughs> I mean, it's no fun without a little challenge and you can neither fully understand anyone. Never. I say neither. Whatever. What an event! I wanted I wanted to give them all different voices, but it kind of it was kind of a lot. <laughs> I think I might lose this. 
I'm gonna be honest. No, oh, okay. I guess not. <laughs> I wasn't sure I was Seems quite. Too powerful. Yeah, I was quite leveled up enough. I have obtained scroll. my first scroll. Someone is calling me, so we're gonna have to put a quick little pause on this episode. Be right back. W welcome back. I got telemarketed. I thought it was a uh, something You've for work. You've been marketed to. Yeah, I've been marketed in a language I don't even understand. <laughs> this is pretty great. Man, these guys need to get more creative with their telemarketing skills. Like, if someone called me and was like, Hey, uh, we've got some cats here for you. You want to come get some cats? I'd be like, hell yeah. Someone called me and I was like, Welcome to the Bone Zone. I'd yes. be like, what are you talking about? I got about? my gold, dude. Yeah, I'm talking about that golden rod. You got the girthy, I mean, golden rod. <laughs> my bad. I was in the Bone Zone there for a minute. Got caught up in that Bone Zone a little too much. Everything changes. So there's there's a bunch of different classes too, and each class does their own thing. Oh, go to Friendship Square. My favorite class is Matt. Aw, <laughs> oh, dude, you wanna be Byakua? He oh, is the oh, ultimate oh, rich boy, basically. Oh. <laughs> I forget what the actual thing is, um, but basically he's just he's gonna inherit the. Family giant conglomerate. Well, Looks like the ultimate cool guy right now. Check he him is. Out. He's pretty great. He's looking pretty snazzy. I, I love his style. It's awesome. Oh, Piaki, uh, I figured you'd be here. Toka was looking for you, so I told her you might be on the beach. So, uh, heads up. You're not happy. Next, you'll ask, how did you predict my behavior? I'm not in the mood for this. Yeah, sure. Jeez, you really suck at playing along. Naturally. I was enjoying my time alone in peace, and along comes you. How do you expect me to react? <laughs> it's yeah. so good. <laughs> yeah, next time you feel like sulking alone, I'd recommend your hotel room. <laughs> the boys are off having a barbecue in the woods. What thought? What? Thought the ocean would be quiet? Too bad. Oh, she's like, what? You thought the ocean would be too bad? Okay, sorry. Anyways, I was I was understanding that sentence and Why it was hard. Why exactly for me. did you come here? <laughs> if you're bored, go mingle with those primates in the forest. Jeez, <laughs> Jesus, Biakia. Oh, I'm way too thoughtful to invite myself along into a boys' club. What? With the forest checked off, the beach is the obvious second. I mean, my hotel room is fine too. You like draw. This isn't like. I mean, that that's that's kind of exactly like her. <laughs> her whole thing is that she's so bored that she wants everyone else to be bored and despaired like her. Huh? The heck? Are you totally concerned about me, Biakia? Cute. Nothing of the sort. I was simply stating the obvious. <laughs> right, for sure, dude. For sure, Man, my god. Teasing Byakuya sucks. Maybe I really should this look sucks. into becoming a shut in. <laughs> I, no, this sucks. This, this rich dude won't let don't. me tease him. I'm just gonna hide in my room forever. He doesn't, he doesn't fall for my bullshit. Have <laughs> fun with that. Just so you know, you're gonna end up alone with, here with Toko the second I take off. To Toko is the creepy uh, split personality with a serial killer character Did that's in love with Byakuya. Into that shit? <laughs> oh my god. I hope he Come isn't. On. Don't even joke about something so sickening. Fine, I'll leave instead. Oh, leaving so soon? Holy moly. He's the life of the party. So this uh -huh. really is just boring. No matter what I do, nothing clicks in it. I never expected despair would come in a package like this. I've never known such hopelessness. Oh, where's my boy Hope at? <laughs> did, you, did you know that one of the characters is the ultimate hope? Hell yeah. Yes, I did. Hell yeah! That's right. yeah. Map goes on by a flash! You don't got time to be sitting around! So how about it? Do you got what it takes to keep up with my soaring soul? 
jump to the destination. Hell yeah, I'm gonna jump there. Yeah, you better keep it up. I love Monotaru. Monotaru is the best. Yeah, get me there, Daddy. Boss battle. Oh, dude, nice. Now I kill. Put you on, like a, on a Gundam. Get dead. Not a Gundam. Put you on a on a Megazord. A Megazord. That's my favorite yeah, Gundam. Megazord. Those aren't Gundams. Those are Power Rangers. Well, what about my Voltron? Put me on a Volt. It my seems Voltron. more like a Voltron. Well, Voltron's over there. He's the end of Voltron. Look, see, you got all these guys. They combined in to be the Voltron. I'm pretty sure there was an eagle and a horse. No, 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 because they're all just one robot. What am I? I'm thinking of Power Rangers. I they're all Power it. Rangers. Can't believe we're fighting Power Rangers over here. That's what I'm saying, dude. That's what I'm saying. Now. Hmm. We can go to a friendship zone. Now you know what I want to hang out with my boy Monokuma. Everyone's favorite. Yeah, serial killer bear. He's great. Gangsta Kuma. That was a gangsta Kuma we just killed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know the iconic gangsta. Kuma. The one everyone knows. He's the OG. What are some ideas you have for unlocking new potential in your talent? Aww. New potential for me? Despair itself is everything. I'm looking to game. <laughs> Ooh, what was despair get? What? Oh. <laughs> I think it was gaming. Uh, let's go with the middle one. That seems right. Oh, uh, dude, you want to be Shiro Kuma? Well, uh, Junko, you got tired of the <laughs> thing that was the most Perfect. important to you. I didn't know I could do this. That's, that's great. I love it. Yep, to a hopeless degree, despair is old news. I guess I wonder if I should be giving each one of our personalities no as like, their own voice that, too. That's unbelievable. This isn't the Junko I know. That's kind of a good thing, Shirokuma. She's kind of I a horrific person. I hope this character never shows up again because I will forget how to do this. <laughs> they probably won't. Is that okay? Thank you for the canned response to the despair manic. Maniac? The impossible happening is also dis- You know what, guys? I know how to read, okay? Your I see changed. all of you. Yeah, it changes your hair with a personality. It's pretty cool. So in the end, it's still despair. I'm starting to get confused. That's right. Despairing about despair. Despairing about getting tired of despair. I am despair. I guess that means I'm just nothing now. My stand is Monokuma. Was that any different from before? Such despair. Uh, you're not supposed to say that part. It'll make me despair over whatever it's despair again. Mushrooms. Shrooms on I my see. head. What if they taste any good? Do you think- would you eat shrooms that grew off someone's head? I think I would. <laughs> Is this conversation a bit- uh, I'm hopelessly bored. <laughs> That's right, I'm done. I really am despair no matter where I go. Man, really depressing. Depressing. She's the ultimate. I didn't tell you. Uh, she's the ultimate. Um, shoot. What is her actual ultimate? Well, I know all the ones from the first one. Oh, so do you remember hers? The ultimate fashion, whatever. Right. Shit. Ultimate model or something like that. Ultimate idol, maybe even. But, no, because Sayaka is the ultimate idol. Oh, good. <laughs> God. A, there was one that actually was that great. Gonna need to buy some insurance for when I attack this person. Yeah, I'm gonna beat you up so I can steal those undies! Mine! Yeah. Wait, is that the one who gets smoked right away? What the ultimate mean? idol? Yeah, yeah, she's the one that gets killed yeah, first. Yeah, she's the, she's the she's one the one that's scumbag. like yeah. uh, a super good friend to you, and then uh, she was no, only using you so that. No, she's yeah. the scumbag. She's the backstabber. I remember. Yeah, her. she was gonna pin the murder of Leon on you. <laughs> Oh, dude, I'll be a Buki, but you have to be... That's a girl. Um, crap, what's her name? She's great, but she's the ultimate... Bodybuilder, I think? I'm, I'm probably wrong. Oh, you might know. The, the ultimate street fighter. <laughs> yeah, ultimate something. Ah, it's yes! Just Akuma. She's, she's great. Ah, yes, a muscular body is pretty sweet. 
You're both looking damn fine. I love a bookie. I love a bookie. No, she's just, it, she's the ultimate worst. rock artist. She's so oh, great. She's the ultimate something, all right. She's so great. I freaking love her. A beautiful body has precisely as much muscle as it needs. My apologies if I'm too beautiful. Sakura, that's her name. There you go. True. Big buff woman. Given your present occupation, your body type may be ideal. I could see that being her real voice, too. Mm. I see. Chuka looks hella thin at a glance, but it's not like she's lacking in the meat department. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I love her. She's so great. Imagine how much better my concerts would be if I got totally swole. Seriously? I don't see the application of being swollen too, I must be honest. But there's no reason to her being swole, but she's just kind of silly and over the top. Dude, it makes crowd surfing worse. Yeah, she's got that <laughs> punk energy, you know? It makes it harder for them to hold you. You're fine just the way you are, Ibuki. It's not like you're too frail to pick up a guitar. That's totally yeah. it! That's yeah, you're true, but I never want to stop striving to be the best I can. <gasps> Oh, I get that. Sometimes I ask myself whether I am whether I am at my strongest and best as well. There's more I could be doing. I'm nowhere near my full potential. Stuff like that. I've worked hard to get where I am, you know? Of course. I do know that feeling well. Unleashing a powerful strike, yet immediately questioning the potential of one's power. Huh. In such repetition, one can climb ever higher. Or should explain how she got those scars on her shoulder. I from see! Sick combat, bro. <laughs> from that sick tiger combat that she had to do as a child. That dope combat. See, so uh, I was on the right track. I'm gonna push myself until I can rock the dang house down. Freaking Ubuki forever in my heart. She's my favorite. My absolute favorite, next oh my to Junko. God, strength 15 to 31. Yeah, I, I'm buff now. All right. Uh, Swole. Join us next time on Quiet Questers. I think we got uh, maybe one or two more episodes of this. Oh, my God. The intellect. She's smart. So intelligent. She's a smart, crazy person. My favorite. She's got, she got enough smarts for two different people. <laughs> Who knew? Crazy personality.